Welcome to The Dennis Report. I'm Dennis Hatchison, and this is an episode of As I See It. Election numbers, the story the media is not telling you. Voting is an emotional exercise. We're recording this roughly 10 days after the provincial election, September 24th in New Brunswick. Media is constantly bombing you with numbers, and I thought I'd bomb you with a different set of numbers to see if it reflected your experience of what went on in the last provincial election. And to beg the question, why did the media not tell me that? So, consider the narrative just before the election. More or less it was, people were tired of the same old, same old. Red or blue, doesn't matter which, it's always the same result. The people who aren't elected tend to be the main controllers of power in this province. That narrative has been dominant the past 30 years. Didn't appear once in the election coverage. And I wondered why, so I went digging into numbers. It's a bit of a flurry, but hang in there. 570,000 people, roughly, are eligible to vote. About 382,000 chose to vote. Roughly 187,000 chose not to vote. From those that chose to vote, 144,000, roughly, voted for the Liberals. 121,000 voted for the Conservatives. Roughly 49,000 voted for People's Alliance. About 45,000 voted for the Green Party and about 19,000 voted for the NDP. Scattered in there, there's some independent votes and KISS Party as well. So let's play with this in the context of the dominant narrative of doesn't matter who's in power, it's always the same anyway. The combined votes of orange, purple, and green come to a total of 112,000. That meant those are the people who actively took part in the election and chose not to vote red or blue. And they picked one of the other parties. They voted for something different. Now in the mix of all the people who did not vote, roughly 187,000, there have to be some people who felt it's a waste of time to vote, so I'm not going to because it's always the same. Basically, they share the same emotion as the people who chose to vote and voted for one of the three smaller parties. When you combine those numbers, you come up with almost 300,000 people who are fed up or in outright opposition to the dominance of red and blue narrative in election. This is greater than the combined votes for the PCs and the Liberals. So I wanted to make that distinction. All the people who voted orange, green, or purple, or who didn't vote, all combined, are greater than the total combined votes that went for the Liberals or the Conservatives. This is a huge statement on the part of voters. The question I want to ask is, why did the media not report this? Be good, have fun, love each other.